In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust like a pro in Madden 23. What's going on YouTube? My name is Cody. Welcome to the video. If you want to get better at Madden, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe and it just gets you access to all of the free tips that we post here on YouTube every single day. Now, I do want to say something about this video. Today's video is designed to basically teach you the ins and outs of number one, why pro players typically only call a couple of plays and then also most importantly how um, to actually make the adjustments that you'll, you'll hear pro players talk about adjust all the time you got to adjust we're going to teach you how to do that in this video and I think it's honestly the most important skill that I can give you on defense and it's actually a really important skill on offense as well so really excited to break this down and I'm going to be breaking this down out of the trips tied in on offense and out of our uh, brand new dime 146 defense if you guys have not picked up our patreon membership it's only ten dollars to sign up for that and you get access to all of our ebooks the trip side in ebook in my opinion is the best offense in the game we also have i think what i have found to be a really incredible defense this year in the 146 because of the versatility that it has with those outside linebackers on the outside i think it's a little bit better than dollar for a couple of key reasons that we explain in the ebook but if you want to learn how to run any of this stuff Everything is in our Patreon. All of our ebooks, we've got I think six or seven ebooks right now, including one that teaches you the ins and outs of how every match coverage works against every formation in the game, how to blitz out of almost every formation in the game. And then we have a Trips ebook, a Bunch ebook, a Big Nickel over G ebook, a Current Gen ebook, and we got a Dime 146. So we've really been trying to pump that out for you guys this year, uh, just so that way you're on top of everything. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to use U Trips for the offensive side. So, um, why do pro players, uh, well, how do you adjust? So the, the biggest thing that you wanna do with any kind of Madden, it doesn't matter the year, um, is you want to understand why you do what you do. And you have to understand that one of the reasons that pro Madden players like to generally stay in the same play, especially on defense, is because there are tells if they audible out of that play. Let me show you an example. So if I come out in the play DB Sting, which I think is the best blitz in the game, you're going to see that I'm going to come out and it looks a certain way. Now, if I audible to cover three, you're going to see the defense changes. The safeties are more backed off. They even show a visible tell that they move. It's different. However, if I create a cover three, like this out of db sting there's no visible there's no visual tell that i did that okay now how did i create a cover three by being on the player well i did what's called adjusting right i quick adjusted everybody how do you quick adjust why is it important and how can you get better at it well honestly quick adjusting to get better at it you have to do it right to become a great adjuster you have to make adjustments and this is something that I've been really trying to take a lot more seriously this year. I feel like that's been one of the weaknesses of my game over the last couple of years is I've just not been very quick at making adjustments. And so I've tried to get better at that this year and I've tried to get more um, intentional. So by having a base play like DB Sting, I know there's certain things that I'm vulnerable to, right? I know that out of man coverage, you know, maybe one of the things that I'm vulnerable to is this running back route to the flat. So they're going to throw that and I'm going to give that up, right? So maybe an, an, an example of adjustment is to quickly go through and, well, if they're going to send the running back out on a route, you know, I don't necessarily, um, I could do something like this where I put a hard flat to that left side corner and I man up that solo receiver like that out of a quick adjust. So now everything looks exactly the same, but now when they try to throw this, this quick flat route, you see here it looks open, but now I've got a hard flat right there. You see what I'm saying? So how do you do that? And, and that's, that's really why it's important. Honestly, I believe that this is the most important thing that you can teach anybody on defense because you, every, any defense can be really, really good for the most part, but the best defenses are the ones that you can adjust and that they don't have uh, visible tells that you're making those adjustments. Um, you know, really, and, and when you can pair that with a blitz and you have the quarterback on a timer and they have to make a quick read, it's hard because there's not a tell. 
Okay, so anyways, um, so, so basically what we want to do here is walk you through kind of the basics and then we'll get a little bit more advanced as we go. So if you click the right joystick in, it's going to bring up the pre-play menu. This is more just a visual tool to help us with all of the things that we can do pre-snap. Now, this might be a little bit overwhelming. Trust me, the more you do this, the easier it will become and there is no limits to how much you can adjust. I think that that's one of the coolest things about it, honestly. Um, the more that I've been trying to get better at it, I find that there's always another adjustment that I could do. So, um, you know, you can keep labbing this throughout the year. You're never gonna get bored of it because there's always some other way to do it, okay? So the way that you adjust your defensive is that the game basically break it up, breaks it up into three categories. Defensive line, linebackers, and secondary players defensive line linebackers and secondary secondary players so if i want to adjust my defensive lineman i'm going to bring up the left d-pad now if you look here this is going to give me what i call global adjustments i can shift my defensive line um, to the right by hitting right on the left joystick i can shift them i can pinch them uh, which is probably my favorite adjustment out of this i can pinch them and you'll see here that they will move that way. Um, I could, um, I could, you know, shift them any way that I want. I can also crash them any way I want. I could crash them toward the running back. I could crash them outside. And you see that it's going to change the blitz angles that these guys are on. I can crash them down. Um, there's so much, you know, you can do all of those different things. And that's how you're going to globally adjust. Now we can also, if you look at left trigger, we can actually clear our shifts. Um, essentially what that does is it's going to reset them to the default that they were in. And I do all that by bringing up the, I hit left on the D-pad and then I can do all this stuff. I can move this guy. I can spread them. I can crash them down. You know, I can do all this stuff and you see it changes the blitz angles that they're going to pass rush with. But if I wanted to adjust like just an individual defensive lineman, what I have to do is I have to double tap the left uh, button on the D-pad. So I'm going to double tap and that brings up quick adjust. What this means is I can select a defender and put them in a individual adjustment. So let's say that I want to send the pressure off of the, off of the uh, left side, but I don't want to send it off of the right side. Then we can take the, uh, we're going to hit double tap on the left, but on the left D-pad, we're going to hit the icon Devin White, which is X on PlayStation. And we're going to drop him into a hard flat. And then we're going to, you know, maybe do something like, like this on, you know, on that side. So you see here, we've kind of dropped some coverage over here to the right side to protect from anything quick. And now we're going to send the pressure off of, you know, the left side. And wasn't able to come in completely clean there um, because we didn't set it up exactly right. But you see the idea. Okay, I can adjust any of these guys. One of my favorite things to do out of this defense is to take my defensive tackle and put him in a quarterback spy to prevent from the quarterback stepping up in the pocket. You see, we still get that great edge rush, but now we have a guy dropping into a quarterback spy. So they have these different things that you can do. And the way that you do that, you know, in older Maddens, you used to have to like click on and put this guy in a zone. And that would take forever and you would get snapped they would snap the ball and I'd be here and my, my defense would be all messed up and they could hit me, you know, with the wheel route or whatever. Okay. So really important. So now how do we adjust the linebackers? Well, basically everything is going to be the same except for it's just a different key. So we're going to uh, hit right on the D pad to adjust our linebackers. You see, that's going to bring up the global adjustments. We can clear the shift if we want to. And then if I wanted to quick adjust my linebackers, I'm going to double tap right on the D pad. And you're going to see here that I can now put these guys, I can click on their icon and I can like, like, let's say I want to man up this blitzing linebacker on the tight end. Cause he's going to have better leverage. I can just quickly do that by double tapping right on the D pad, hitting the icon. And then you'll see here, it gives me these adjustments. Now, if I want to put him in man coverage, I flick the right joystick up and then I choose the icon that that tight end is on. And you see how we're able to kind of take this coverage and make it a little bit more effective because now my guy's in leverage. He's got better positioning and he can at least make a tackle if they throw the ball to the tight end. Now, uh, so that's how you do your linebackers. How do you do your corners and your secondary? Remember that button is triangle. So let's say that I want to, um, you know, globally adjust my secondary. I could globally shade my coverage inside. That's a great way to stop crossing routes. I could shade my coverage 
inside and over top, right? That's another way that we could kind of shade our coverage uh, within this to make this effective. So you see, we're gonna shade inside and over top and that post route that was open is no longer open because of the shading, okay? So you can use these shades based off the way the routes that they're putting on the field. If I wanted to individually adjust somebody, I've got a double tap triangle. If you're on Xbox, it's gonna be the Y button. So I've got a double tap and I love to do this because I'm gonna individually create kind of a unique coverage here on the left side um, in case in case they're wanting to throw the ball quick to the running back. You're gonna see here, this is a great little adjustment uh, for defending anything to the running back and as well as being able to stop you know, the deep post route. Now, um, so that's how you make the adjustments, right? That's how you make the adjustments. Now, the real more important question is how do you know what adjustments to make? Again, what I would tell you is use the tendencies of the offense against them. Use the tendencies of the offense against them. So if they're always throwing the ball to their tight end on an out route, then now we could drop a, you know, a curl flat zone and we have him manned up over here on this left side. Now I know I need to go guard the running back if he comes out of the backfield. So I go guard the running back. You see the purples there. He obviously didn't animate, but he's there and you've got a guy. So that's a great way. If they're hitting you with corner routes, like let's say that they're trying to beat your your man-to-man -man coverage by hitting you with corner routes. Well, this is where we love to take our man coverage and make it a zone coverage, okay? The way we do that is we're gonna outside third, both of our outside safeties. And then what I like to do is put, you know, these, you know, some zones like this, but we're just creating our our cover too, right? Or, or something like this, this is a great way to kind of get at it. And you'll see here, if they try to throw a corner route, now we've got that bracketed to the sideline and get ourselves in a better position to be able to stop it. So that's the beauty of, of these uh, ability to quick adjust is we can create, um, we could create a cover two to one side with a mid read defender, you know, something like this, very exotic coverage. We've got man on the right. We've got zone on the left. You know, these are some things that you can do. And out of a pressure look, it really is good because you mix up what they're seeing, even though it looks the same pre-snap. And I just can't underestimate and can't understay that. Uh, or I can't say that enough in this video. You have to make, uh, you have to make every single defense look the same. So like, we could do something like this. Um, this is actually a really good play. And how are they going to attack us? Well, they really can only attack us with an underneath route from that circle receiver. So if we get a concept where he goes underneath, I'm going to go over here. And now they might be throwing into, you know, our little cover three coverage. So this is just a great way to adjust this year because in man coverage, it's such a powerful uh, foundation. And then we can kind of build from there, make our adjustments from there. You know, maybe you want to be, you know, go something like this. Well, the least thing that you can do is like repress the, the, the thing so that it actually looks like it. You know, and now we're in a, a max coverage, right? So we're in a max coverage. They're going to block people, whatever. And you see, you know, we're going to have zones now in the middle of the field. So those are some of the basics and the ins and outs of how to adjust in Madden. I think that that's just a video that I wanted to do primarily to teach kind of everybody not only how to adjust, but why to adjust, which I think is even more important. If you guys want to learn the ins and outs, the best adjustments to make formation to formation, make sure you get in our Patreon. Our Dime 146 ebook, I think, is the best defense um, from just a pressure perspective and defending the meta. This is a really, really, really good defense. We can stop pretty much every run out of this as well, including a one trap, base, counter, HB inside zone, all that stuff. We can lock up pretty easily in our 146 ebook. So if you want to check that out, including all the under center runs, by the way, too. But if you want to get access to all of our ebooks, including the 146, make sure you're in our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for the Patreon. Head down to the description of the video if you want to sign up. There's a link down there. Click that link and hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.